what is up guys we are down here at south georgia motorsports park for sweet 16. Uh, right now the car is still in the trailer just because i think there's another rainstorm coming through it's thursday by the way pushed it back a day so we uh i decided to work an extra day and uh get stuff done and uh come down here uh but car i'm just chilling right now uh, assuming no bad weather or when the next little shower that's potentially uh, on the forecast passes, then we will uh, unload everything. But Caleb and Cody went to the uh, store, so um, maybe when I get back, if I don't forget, I will uh, kind of cruise the pits for you guys and so we can see what's going on. But it'll be you know tomorrow, I think at one o'clock is the round one of qualifying. So we got some time to kill to say the least. But anyways, that's where we're at. So uh, I'll update you guys in a bit. What's up guys? It is Friday down here at Sweet 16, South Georgia Motorsports Park. Car is good to go. It's just waiting for us to be caught up. Uh, round one of eliminate or qualifying starts at 12:30. Uh, the run order is Ultra X Pro LDR, which is us, and RVW. So it'll probably be another two hours before we get to run. But we're gonna go walk around here in a minute and check out some of the stuff. Usually this event is so super crowded, it's um, hard to really move around and do things. So uh, it'll be nice to be able to move a little more freely, I guess you'd say. But uh, let's see if we can find anything cool. What's up guys so you saw our first pass sucked uh it left good i was like cool we're on to something then about three quarters of a second in it kicked the tire uh hard to say if it's track or what you know this track has been kind of uh coming around but some of the guys went fast and you know how i am i don't like to blame the track i feel like it's my job to figure things out but it takes testing to get there um i'm gonna leave mostly the same tune-up in it um, i'm gonna soften it just a hair at that point we also made a slight suspension change to uh um, loosen the shocks just a hair in the rear to help it extend a little faster as it gets cooler and as laps are made on this track it's gonna get better anyways because um, it did rain yesterday so they kind of had to scrape a lot off but uh, you know we'll see what we got uh, otherwise you know the data we did get uh, I, I did get back into it as you saw and we made the shift and it dropped 500 we'll see how it acts on a full hit not just kind of a, a spin get back in and again and shift deal but um, but at least we got some data as always i hate to spin really do but when you're figuring out a new combo it's it's just part of it and once again it takes testing to to, uh, to be able to figure this stuff out went across the scales 26 25 with uh, all the weight hung on the rear so we're actually a little bit lighter with all the weight than we were um so 
So the new anti roll bar, uh, even though it's bigger, the whole setup is just a bit lighter, so you can tell little things like that. Uh, really, that should be the only thing that would affect the weight. Um, so, anyways, but that's an update from there. Uh, just going to chill till it's uh, ready for round two. Still haven't gone to second round qualifying. Car's ready. Just waiting to be called. Well, guys, it is midnight and we did not get to make another hit. Uh, track was getting unsafe. Um, I had some, you know, it's slow, slow today. Unfortunately, getting the track turned around between rounds, they're trying to make it right, and they're just fighting. So it's a uh, another long day here, but is what it is. Waiting the lanes for about an hour just last time, I think. And uh, much as it sucks for them to be like, you know, we're not doing it. It's way better than widening the car up. So anyways, we're going to eat our second dinner uh, of the night because it's late and we're all up. And then we will uh, be first up tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. This isn't good. So we got the car here at the shop. Let's kind of get an idea of what's messed up here. Um, as you can tell, the harness there is burned up on this area there. Uh, well, it looks like what happened when the casting broke. We'll figure out why in a little bit. We actually shot oil out of the water jacket there um, when it came through there and it caught a bunch of stuff on fire. You know, that's on fire, that, that, uh, that was on fire. See back there, the harness, the fire, got that stuff, got that. So, a decent amount of stuff burned up. Still could have been worse. Uh, so, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this one head off tonight because I just want to see if I can figure out more of what's going on. Um, as you can tell, I sound a little funny and I feel a little crappy, but I feel better today than I, than I thought I would, that's for sure. So, um, I'm going to try to get a uh, step ahead so I can start plotting my next moves. <laughs> 